Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming with my brand new camera that I received from my parents for Christmas. So excited. I am still figuring out the mechanics and the details, so I apologize if there are any issues with this video, but I am here to announce my January TBR. This year, I am starting fresh with a new TBR game, and I have decided to use my herbal tarot cards and create prompts that will go for each one of these cards. I have been interested in tarot and crystals for quite a while now, and I regularly pull tarot for myself just as a form of uh, self-guidance and support and wisdom. So I have really enjoyed that in the past, and I would love to incorporate some of that into this channel and my journey with the book too. So I have pulled out the Major Arcana cards in this deck. There are 22 cards total in the Major Arcana in this deck, and I have assigned a prompt for every card. So every month at the beginning of the month, I'm going to be pulling a few cards and assigning a book based on the prompt that is attached to that card. If I complete my TBR successfully every month, I will receive a positive reward for finishing that TBR. So for example, I may allow myself to buy a book or I may give myself a completely relaxing reading day or I will treat myself to a 24 hour reading vlog. Those are really fun for me to film and to do, but I have a hard time finding time to do those things. So if I complete my TBR for a month, I will make sure that I make time to reward myself in some way. On the other hand, if for some reason I do not complete the TBR that is connected to these cards, then I will have some form of punishment. So for example, I will have to uh, unhaul a series of books, perhaps, or I will have to go on a book buying ban for the rest of that month. So those Rewards and punishments are still a work in progress. I haven't actually created those yet, but they will be coming and they will be featured in the next TBR. I'm also getting used to making eye contact with the camera. So if for some reason I'm staring down, it's because I'm looking at myself. I will try very hard <laughs> to stay focused on the camera. <sighs> YouTuber 101. <laughs> This month, I am participating in two different readathons as well as my TBR game. So instead of pulling a large amount of cards for myself, I've chosen to pull four cards for January, and then I will be completing the other readathons throughout the rest of the month. So the first readathon that I'm participating in is the Be sure thon hosted by The Wild Sasha. And this is a readathon that is based off of the Wayward Children series, which I have yet to read. And it has been on my TBR for a very, very long time. So I thought that this would be a really fun way to get those books read. Now, since I have not read the books before and I have no prior experience with them, I have chosen not to join one of the four teams that are in this readathon. Instead, I'm taking the option that Sasha very graciously offered, and that is to pick and choose prompts from each different team and combine my own TBR. And I will also be potentially adding more books for the second readathon that I am participating in this month, which is the TBR PGathon hosted by Ro at Wandering Through Worlds. And this is her Dungeons and Dragons based TBR game that she plays every single month, which I am completely in love with. And she is hosting a readathon the third week of January from the 17th to the 24th, I believe. And this is going to be a play as you go choice based readathon that you will be given prompts as you go. So there's no way to plan for that. I don't really know what I'm going to be reading and hopefully I'll be able to combine some of the prompts that I have for Be sure as well as my TBR game. So I have a lot going on in January. Hopefully everything follows through the way that I'm hoping it will. But without further ado, let's go ahead and pull my, full my four cards from this deck. 
My first card is the High Priestess. And the prompt that I need to fulfill for the High Priestess is connect to the spiritual realms. Read a book featuring religion or mythology. The first card that I got was the High Priestess card. And the prompt for this card is to read a book that features religion or mythology. So for this book, I decided to choose The Gollum and the Genie by Helen by Helen Wecker. This is a book that I've been wanting to read for a very long time. It is based off of Bedouin folk tales and mythology and set in the desert of Syria, I believe. So it isn't exactly a wintry read, but it's definitely something that I have been wanting to read for years now and has been waiting on my shelf for its moment and it is its moment. So I am very excited to read this. I don't really know anything about it. I just know that it is very well loved, very popular, and I am excited to dig in and see what it's all about. My next card is Temperance. Temperance. For metal to be tempered, it must first be beaten and melted. Read a book that features personal transformation through hardship or trauma. The second card that I pulled was Temperance, which was one of the cards that I was hoping I wouldn't get, unfortunately. It is one of those more hard-hitting cards where you have to read something that's a little bit heavier and darker, but I think I found a book that's perfect for this prompt. So the prompt itself is to read a book in which the character has some sort of personal transformation through hardship or trauma. And the book that I chose for this prompt is I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings by Maya Angelou. This is a book that I bought a long time ago. It's something that I have been wanting to read for a very long time. I know that a lot of it is difficult to read, but I feel like overall the spirit of this book is hopeful and inspiring. And so I think that this is actually going to work perfectly for my uh, TBR this month. It is a memoir. It is a um, story, kind of like a rags to riches story, I believe. I don't really know much about her, unfortunately. I know that she's a very inspirational person in the world and that she has so many people who look up to her. And so I'm really excited to learn more about her life and what she stands for and the work that she's done in the world to make it a better place. So looking forward to this read for sure. Two prompts down, two to go. My next card is The Emperor. Lovely. Wisdom is the key to a peaceful realm. Read a book featuring war, politics, or royalty. The third card that I pulled was The Emperor, and the prompt for this card is to read a book that in features war or politics or royalty. And for this prompt, I have chosen Brandon Sanderson's Elantris. I have read the first three books in Brandon Sanderson's Stormlight Archive series, but when I was reading those books, I did not realize that he had created a, a Cosmia for his books that was very similar to the Robin Hobb series and how all of the books are related in some way or another in this giant world that he's created. And so I did some research and discovered that Elantris is the one to go with if you're wanting to start from the beginning. So... My goal for 2022 is to definitely get started with these novels. Brandon Sanderson is a amazing author, epic fantasy, world building, character driven. Ah, I can't say enough about how much I love his work that I've read so far. So I am so excited to jump into his this book. And final card is Strength. This card features the cayenne pepper. <laughs> Self-discipline takes enormous strength. Read a self-help book or a book in which a character must train, study, or overcome hardship to meet their goals. And finally, I pulled the strength card, and this is a prompt that encourages me to read a book that has a character who has to either study or train or overcome some sort of hardship in order to achieve his goals. The main goal behind this card in a reading is to 
Uh, be mindful of your self-discipline and the strength that it takes to conquer your own self and to achieve your goals. And for this, I might be stretching the prompt a little bit, mostly because I don't know exactly how this is going to play out, but I decided to continue reading To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Polini. I only read the first two chapters in December and really, really would like to continue this before I have to turn it back into the library. Um, and just from the blurb in the beginning of the book, in the beginning of the book, it seems like this could fit this prompt. It says that Kira is um, facing her own horrors and in, is in the midst of a war. And so this, I guess, could have worked for with the emperor as well. But she is having to test herself to the very limits of what it means to be human and test herself to the very limits of what it means to do the job that she is doing, which is to travel the galaxy and to explore other worlds. So I think that that counts as self-discipline in my book. Anyway, <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comments, but I'm going to use this book. I don't mind. So that is my four books for my tarot TBR for this month my very first tarot TBR. I'm very excited to get started. I also will be participating in the Be sure -a which I mentioned at the beginning of this video, and I am patching together different prompts from those teams in order to create my TBR for that. So I have gone through all of the teams, and this is going to be the spreadsheet of what my TBR is going to look like. From Team Fairyland, I chose the A Book That Feels Right prompt. And for this, I'm filling in the very first book in the Wayward Children series, which is Every Heart a Doorway. It definitely feels right to begin the Be sure a based off of the Wayward Children series with the first book in that series. And I have read it. I read it very early on last year, but I never continued with the series and I've read so many books since then that I definitely would like to refresh my brain and uh, begin fresh starting with the first book. So I will be reading that first. And then from Team Mirror, I chose the prompt Siblings to fit the second book in the Wayward Children series, which is Down Among the Sticks and Bones. And this is a story of two twin sisters. So they uh, definitely fulfill the siblings prompt. The third prompt in this readathon is going to be from Team Lake, and the prompt is to read an audio or an ebook. So I'm going to get either one of those for the third book, which is Beneath the Sugar Sky. Moving on to Team Underworld, I chose their prompt Read at Night, and I'm going to be reading In an Absent Dream at Night. And then finally, I also picked from the Underworld team for this last prompt, and the prompt is to read a book in one sitting, and I chose the novella, which is between the fourth and fifth books in the Wayward Children series, called Juice Like Wounds. Ow! <laughs> My cat just jumped on me. Rude! Why did you do that? I know I've been gone for so long. Okay, go away. I need to finish this. Oh! <laughs> okay. In addition to the books that I have for my Herbology Tarot, TBR, and the Be sure -a I am also going to be reading The Age of Innocence by Edith Wharton, I believe. This is a classic that won the Pulitzer Prize about 90 years ago, I think, and it is a high society novel set in old New York, and it is about a high society marriage that's taking place and the woman who is trying to break it up as far as I can tell. So that seems very interesting and I'm looking forward to that. I'm reading that with my friends Anna and Brittany. I've mentioned them on this channel before. We have a book club that we read every single month and we get together and talk about it and enjoy our, our reading time together. So I'm looking forward to that. And then on top of that, I believe that I'm going to pick up and finish A Dark and Hollow Star by Ashley Shuttleworth. This is a queer fantasy that I have been meaning to finish for months, but I have been reading this with my very wonderful friend Oliver, and we just got really busy with my job and their school and all the things that we've been trying to do, and we're also long distance friends, so it's kind of hard. But I hope that we can get back on track 
and finish this book because so far it's really good. It's I'm only a quarter of the way through it and it's really detailed and it has a lot of really really interesting characters so I am looking forward to continuing this book as well whether I finish it this month or next month we shall see. So yeah that pretty much wraps up my TBR. I have a lot to get through this month and I have high hopes that I'll be able to do it. I'm getting settled into my new job as a fourth grade teacher. Things are going way more smoothly. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. My priority is definitely going to be to finish my Herbology Tarot TBR because I do not want a punishment. <laughs> so comment below if you guys have ideas for what I can do for um positive rewards and for punishments for my TBR game. And please remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this TBR and you would like to see more from me. I will be vlogging throughout the month letting you know how I'm doing with my TBR and I am so happy that you guys are here to follow me on this journey. So have an amazing day and I will see you guys soon. Bye! Yesterday